Hey guys, what's up? It's your buddy Keith, and I've got a killer guitar to share with you guys today. We're here live in the control room at SX Recording Studios, just outside London in England. And yes, I've got a USA Charvel San Dimas Super Strat to share with you guys. If you're new to the channel, smash the like button, hit subscribe, come join our circle of friends. There's over 7,000 of us, millions of views on the channel. And uh, yeah, it's good to have someone new around for sure. So what do we have here? This is, as you can see from the inspection tag, a 2008 Charvel made in USA Super Strat. Now they have for the USA series, uh, at this time you have the Model 1 and the Model 2. The Model 1 being the Strat shaped body and the Model 2 being the Telecaster. I'm gonna take this Floyd Rose arm off so we can get this out and show you the whole thing. Now the color on this is insane. It's beautiful. It's like this gorgeous electric blue. Kind of reminds me of the, the blue the Chevy Corvette had out. Um, I think it was the C5 Corvettes. They had a blue that was like this color. Um, absolutely beautiful. Look at all of that metallic pearl paint job. Absolutely beautiful. I mean, look how it sparkles. That thing on under stage lighting will look insane. Right now it's under these really bright studio lights directly above. Um, producer James, James Curtis Thomas, the producer and co-owner here at the studio. These are his favorite strats uh one of the things he really likes i am a huge fan top mounted floyd rose there's just something special about him and something very different about the top mounted floyds floyds versus the ones that are recessed uh and have that big hunk of a cavity carved out on the back you've got the 3d neck plate that uh, Charvel's famous for, 002219. If you want to see something really cool, I'm just going to take this out and put it on the chair over here. Go on my channel. I've got the first ever Charvel. First ever serial number Charvel on the channel. And look at what the neck plates look like on it and the other Charvels. Um, it's really cool to see the evolution and how far they've come. They're not a whole lot different, but they're, they, they almost look like they were handmade. Um, it's very cool to see. We've got black Grover tuners, which I think look really sharp, especially with the, with the dark blue color. Um, absolutely beautiful. And maple one piece neck with the Fender style headstock, you know, Fender style neck. Very, very comfortable to play. Kind of have that round C profile. And uh, yeah, it's just super fast. You know, there's no polyurethane or anything on the back. You feel the wood and um, you can really shred on this thing. Now, usually on raw maple fretboards, they can get quite dirty, but as you can see here, let me move the strings on this particular example. It's 12 years old, but there's like no fret wear. I'll put it back under the light so you can see. I mean, there's like nothing. So this thing's been very, very well kept. Actually comes with a Hiscox case. These cases are made here in the UK. Uh, they're really cool. There you go. Oh, oh, focus. The Life Light Standard. Uh, real plush interior. Really nice. And kind of also, again, looks really well. The, uh, the plush velvety red in contrast with this electric blue pearl. Mm. Sexy guitar, that's for sure. Uh, on the back, you have the uh, little holder here. It's never been installed. I like that. Um, they give you the option, which is really cool to hold your Allen keys 
on the back of the headstock. So people usually mount them around there. Um, but uh, we'll leave that up to the new owner for them to decide. I am going to put this guitar up on Reverb.com. So if you just type in Charvel USA San Dimas Model 1, you'll see it. USA Charvel Super Strat. You'll see it. All that good stuff. Uh, the specs are exactly what made Charvel famous. You know, you've got a Floyd Rose, top-mounted Floyd, one volume, one toggle switch. It's all you need and two USA Seymour Duncan humbuckers. You can get all of the tones and sounds you want out of this for blues, for country, all the way up to super shreddy Van Halen, Ingve, Malmsteen craziness. You know, it does it all, guys. And... Pickups are super easy to install these days. If you have a certain tone you're going for, by all means, throw in your favorite pair, mix it up a little bit. The world's your oyster. Um, what else can we say about Charvel? So yeah, looking back on our channel, we've got a couple videos of the earliest Charvels and earliest Jacksons ever built, including Jackson number one, Yes, Jackson serial number 0001, and the first serialized Charvel, which was 1001. They didn't start with number one. They started with 1001. And we have a few of the butcher block Charvels. What the uh, owner of that collection was telling me is that Charvel actually started out as like a carpentry and, and furniture cabinet making business in the very, very early days. So... When they started making guitars in the 70s, it was a bit of an odd transition and <laughs> there was a bit of a learning curve. And on the very early guitars, you can see some really interesting stuff. Um, the other thing, oh, the other thing you can see is the very first uh, ever pointy headstock. So it started on a Charvel, actually. I think it was on a Charvel Star. You have to see the video, guys. It's uh, I think it's titled Crazy Collection of Jacksons. It's totally nuts. They're all uh, on the wall in this beautiful home in Switzerland. And the, the, the original artist who uh, had Jackson number one was a Swiss player, believe it or not. So that's the connection. And that's why this guy was such a huge fan. Um... And yeah, it's it's so crazy, the, the collection this guy has. And you can see the whole uh, era of going from, you know, originally Strat-style headstocks to this modified pointy headstock to the, the, the pointed Charvel Jackson headstock we saw in the 80s. Now it's kind of come full circles. Like in the late 90s, there was that awkward era of, of post-lawsuit um, before, but before Fender had actually ended up buying the company where they had to modify the Strat headstock in like 96, 97. The Jackson PC1s have it. Some of the USA Charvels in like 95 had it from the custom shop. I think it looks kind of ugly. But, uh, and then it comes full circle and here we are back again with that Fender lawsuit headstock. Usually on the back, not all the time, but they usually have like a sticker or it might even be printed on the, uh, uh, you know, this headstock design is licensed by the Fender Musical Instrument corporation i'm glad it's not in the back of this one because i think it looks tacky very tack um but yeah so it's been a while since i've had a usa charvel strat i've got another black one that i think we're probably going to do a custom paint job on uh we'll do a video of that one soon but yes this uh very very good it gives me the warm and fuzzies to have an american charvel back in our collection if you want to record with it Guys, that's what all the amps are for. All this awesome outboard gear. The desk is for you guys to enjoy. So by all means, book a session. We, uh, we've we got an album coming out Friday. It's, thir it's, thir it's technically close to Thursday right now. Friday. Friday the 13th. We've got King of the Dead. Their first singles being released on Spotify, all the platforms. Um, and we use Joss Allen's guitar, which is... Very similar to a USA Jackson, uh, Mark Morton signature. Very similar, but it's built here in the UK by uh, SMP. Anyway, yes, artists do come. They do play these guitars that we have on the channel, and we make some awesome music with them. So you are more than welcome. 
All right, dudes, follow us on all the socials. It's at Essex Recording Studios. Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Get lots of messages on Facebook and Instagram every day. Really appreciate it. And uh, until next time, I will say goodbye. We've got lots of guitar videos coming up tomorrow and over the weekend. So stay tuned. And make sure you're following the Reverb Shop, too. Follow it. You'll see all the latest listings straight away. Cool. Catch you all later.